Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be working in markers, which is a medium that I have not really used very much at all in the past. My dear friend, Tina, AKA I'm a wonder, she delivered this huge bag of Ohuhu markers. I honestly don't even know how many colors there are in here for me to have. She essentially is donating them to me because she has an ongoing sponsorship with Ohuhu and they are just throwing markers at her and so um, she just had this extra set that she did not need. So thank you uh, so much to Tina for being so generous and kind for giving these markers a new home. Um, they will be very happy here. As you can see, I have already dug into using them and I really like the result and I had a ton of fun doing this portrait and so I just wanted to turn on the camera so that I could film myself filling the rest of this page with more marker portraits for you guys. But before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know that I have recently started to upload some content onto Gumroad. I have actually finally put up my two portrait uh, Skillshare classes. For those of you who do not want to sign up for a membership on Skillshare, you can just uh, buy the classes individually on my Gumroad and just own the videos so you can watch them at your own leisure and not have to sign up for a like a year-long membership or anything like that. So I'll leave a link down in my description box to my Gumroad where you can go check it out. So the sketchbook that I am using today is just this uh, like staple bound um, cheapy sketchbook from my local art store here in Toronto. It's called Above Ground Art Supplies. There's really nothing special about it. I really just got it for doing um, like studies in and more kind of more like experimental doodles with, with any like new art materials. And when I tried out the markers on this paper, I honestly thought it worked out pretty well. I mean, it, as you can see from the back, it's just like totally bleeds through, which I don't really mind if the uh, side that the drawing is on looks fine. So along with the Ohuhu markers, I'm going to be bringing in some of these just like various colored pens that I have uh, to supplement the markers with and do the drawing portion with. So this is the photo that I'm going to be working with for this um, portrait. I think I'm basically going to use the same process that I did to build up this portrait, um, which is starting out with an underdrawing with this uh, midliner pen, which is kind of like a highlighter. So yeah, let's... Uh, Let's block in this portrait here. Okay, I love doing the underdrawing in highlighter because it doesn't really matter like how ugly the drawing is and how inaccurate it is. It just looks cool in the end when you kind of cover it all up and it peeks through here and there. I wish I had some more colors instead of just having this orangey color. But yeah, um, I, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised at uh, the reception that my last video had. I really thought that it was such a boring video. <laughs> And I was so like self-conscious about it and I I was like asking you guys like oh do you think this is boring because I really felt I mean I kind of felt bored doing it and so I figured that it might be really boring for people to watch but a lot of people said they enjoyed it and I was really pleasantly surprised by that and it just made me feel a lot better it's just positive reinforcement for me and it makes me want to do more videos for you guys. And uh, I remember in that video, I was saying like, oh, maybe I should have done portraits because I feel like that'd be a lot more interesting. So we'll, we shall see. <laughs> I'm hoping that this video will be more interesting, at least for me. And hopefully that, that like excitement will come through the video more. All right, so there's a rough 
uh, block in there. Probably went in a little bit more than I re really even needed to. Um, I think with this one, I did not start out with like the pen drawing. I think I just went in with the like a mid value marker and started filling out the shadows. So I'm gonna try doing that here as well. Just gotta find the right colored marker. So I don't have a ton of experience using markers in the past. I had this like really, um, really awful set of markers uh, from Korea, like way back when. I almost never use them because the nibs were so soft and awful. It, it was basically like disintegrating and anytime I would put any kind of pressure on them, they would just splay out because they were just that awful and soft. And so, yeah, I basically never use them. Um, but what I remember about using markers is the color that you see on the outside, it almost never matches the color that you're gonna get. So I know I have to always like swatch them every time <laughs> before I, I actually put them onto paper. But yeah, I think this is a, a Good start here. So I'm just gonna kind of fill out the shadows. I feel like this is maybe not even dark enough, but better going light to start and then building up to a darker color. I'm really happy to have these. The, I mean, I've only really used the awful, awful Korean markers <laughs> in the past. So this to me feels really nice. Like so much better control with the, um, the brush nib than what I had with the old markers. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use this whole marker to generally block out the shadows from the light and then I'll go in and uh, add some more colors and like a deeper range of values. So I've always wanted to use markers because it just seemed like a really fun way to put down color quickly, color and value. So I thought you know, it'd be really fun to sketch with. Let's... Get that iris in there as well. So I'm gonna put this whole eye in shadow. So now my conundrum is, do I go in with a pen and kind of start like bringing out some of the drawing or do I go in with another marker before that? I I think I'm gonna go in with the drawing. So I'm gonna bring in maybe this, I forget how dark it is. I'm gonna bring in this Stabilo 0.88 pen. I'm gonna bring out some of the drawing here. Let's see, where should I start? Maybe the nose. Kind of nervous now. So I'm gonna start carving out some of the drawing, but not go too heavy handed with it. Cause I want it to be mostly like a marker drawing, not something super outliney, more tone based. Because as you know, that is my style. So being really selective about where I'm putting some of these lines here. Now, I think I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker marker than what we went with here. So yeah, the trick is to 
find one that's darker, just slightly. Okay, I think, think that will work. build up the valleys a little bit. Maybe I go into the hair with this color as well. So I don't know how to treat this hair. I'm just gonna maybe Do that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. We'll see. Hmm. <laughs> I'll come back to this. I don't know how I'm going to make this look good, but I'll come back to it. Yeah, I remember when I was working on the first one, honestly, it wasn't looking too hot in the beginning, but eventually I got it to a point where I like it and so I have faith that this one will also kind of have a rough start but it just needs a little bit of massaging is all you know. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the first marker here. I'm gonna kind of round the form of the forehead. I'm gonna carve out this little shadow shape of the cheek, of the jowl as well, and just build up some of these darker values. Don't want to go too dark too quickly. So I'll leave it there for now. I always come back and darken more if I want to. Oops. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go work on her nose. So I'm gonna look for a slightly more reddish toned marker. So I think this one is going to work. So I'm going to um, block out that highlight on the nose so that I can give the nose like a shiny kind of effect and I'm going to fill around it and get the highlight there as well. Okay, now that that's filled in I feel like I have to go darker along these areas. So it's just constant just like reassessing the, the new context of the picture. Anytime you add more value, you are having to just readjust. What seemed dark before is probably not gonna seem as dark anymore. Uh, well, okay, let's fill out her lips. Maybe this color will do the trick, at least for the bottom lip or the top lip. Actually, it might be a little bit dark. So maybe this color. Yeah, this is definitely the kind of the annoying thing about markers. It's constantly having to test out, test out these colors one by one. And I'm like, I know I'm way too lazy to actually make a swatch card and look up the swatches every time I'm about to use them. Like I know I'm definitely, definitely too lazy for that. So I'd rather just individually swatch them out like this. That's more of my jam. So I think this color is gonna work nicely for that upper lip. And then I'm gonna go in with a, let's see, is this gonna work? A lighter pink for the bottom lip there. That's not pink. That might work for now. I can, I can layer. Hmm, this is not very pink at all. But you know what? Let's just fill it out like that, and then 
get underneath there. I feel like the markers are blending pretty nicely together. I mean, to be honest, I really don't have a ton of experience using markers, so I don't really know what to even expect, but so far I'm having a great time. So this is a much darker shade than I was anticipating. So that's, that's the danger with these markers. You can't rely on the color that you see on the cap. You really can't and shouldn't. All right, so let's get a move on and actually fill in the rest of her skin. It's a little bit, I feel like the whole palette is a little bit orangey. So I'm gonna try to find a more like yellowish or like a beigey color. That one's a little bit too dark. That one's a little bit too green. That one's a little bit too gray. Hmm. Actually, I think this one so far is our best option here. I'm not gonna... Ooh, actually, this one... This one might work. Yeah, let's go in with this one. Okay, so with this marker, I'm basically just gonna fill in the whole... The whole skin with it. Yeah, I think it'll be a nice base color. For us. Yeah, I think that worked out pretty nicely. So I want to kind of fill in that white of her uh, eye. So I think I'm going to go in to the white of the eye here and Fill that in. I was reading a little bit too white there. I don't know, I feel, I feel very just kind of nervous right now because <laughs> I feel like I can't explain all of my choices as I'm doing them, but I feel the need to. So sorry if I don't end up explaining all of my choices here. Yeah, it's just, it is a little bit hard to draw it and think and talk at the same time. But I, I just kind of want to fine tune the drawing a bit because I feel like now we have a little bit more to work with. And I can't remember which marker was which, which makes it a little bit challenging. I love how like cushiony the markers feel when I'm pressing down. It has a really nice like bounce to it. Hopefully that's not going too far. I'm gonna try to find a pinky color for the cheek here. Not too pink, maybe this one. Maybe balance it out on the other side. So that's looking kind of fun for now. It's looking a little bit radioactive, but I don't really mind. Maybe outline some of the hair. Not all the way around because I want to keep the hairline soft, not too defined. Let's try bringing another color into this, like a cool color to break up some of the warms and fill in the shadows with. So I think I'm gonna uh, go in with a, a very pale blue color. Paler than that, maybe even this like gray color might work. Yeah, because it's so warm, it's going to read as blue. I'm just gonna layer some of the uh, darker values with it. That's definitely making things pop quite a bit. It's not imparting much color though, which is what I wanted. And I realized that the model or the, my drawing is like totally off model. She doesn't really look like the model at all, but uh, you know, forgive me. I'm a little bit nervous, you guys, using 
markers pretty much for the first time and doing this on camera while I'm trying to process through my thoughts. Maybe this light blue will be more blue. Yeah, bring some color, some of that like contrasting color for some interest. Because I really like how this uh, green on this portrait here, how that looked on that very predominantly warm palette. Let's just fill out this whole side with this color because it's in the shadows. And uh, you know what? Maybe even the hair. Yeah, maybe even... I kind of wish I had um, not filled this side of the hair out so heavily. Maybe I can kind of fix that by going in this side of the hair with more detail. Because I kind of like the idea of this side being in shadow and then this side being more detailed. Because I kind of like that uh, contrast. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking how this is looking so far. Yeah, it's just a little bit regrettable that the model or the likeness is not very accurate. But please forgive me. It's not always the focus of my portrait studies. I think we're almost ready to call this one done. I'm really digging it now. I think that bringing that cool color in really helped, but we're not quite done here because again, I really want that hair to look better than this. All right, so I'm gonna try to find a color that is like pretty similar to this, but a little bit darker so that I can add a little bit more texture to it, but not add too much texture and like too much contrast. I want just a little bit, maybe just use basically the same marker, but like just layer over top of it. Let's try that actually. So yeah, um, bringing some texture into this side actually indicate what the hair is doing but I don't want too much texture because I don't want too much contrast. I want this portrait to be mostly about the face, not about the hair. So I have to be very selective about where I'm putting in these like darker values. I'm gonna go in with a slightly lighter marker if I can help it. I don't know if this, oh yeah, oh. This one might do. I'm just kind of, ooh, I like how they blend together. I mean, I guess, uh, yeah, I, I realize that I don't necessarily blend markers. I just, I kind of like them blocky, like color blocking, but um, yeah, this is nice too. Having those two colors blend together like that. Ooh, is this got a, it's giving a very painterly effect. What else can we do? I think I'm gonna go around the outside of the hair and just work on the general silhouette of it. Instead of trying to draw it out with a marker, I think it'll just have a cleaner effect if I just kind of drew around it in a sketchy fashion like this. It's hard to make these kinds of marks look very like loose and spontaneous. Yeah, I don't know about that, but uh, yeah, we'll just run with it. Definitely drew her face a little bit wider than it is. Maybe a bit more definition, the hair here. Oh, 
フォラースフォラース
know it probably looks like a hot mess right now, but remember that uh, in these early stages, I'm realizing is really the ugly stage. So hopefully the more we layer, the better our drawing will look. I really wish I didn't have to swatch each color before having to use them because I feel like that really disrupts the flow a little bit. But again, with this one, I really want to just have some fun, throw around some colors. I feel like the last one got a little bit too controlled, maybe. Uh, the highlighter is really cutting through and uh, it looks a little freaky on video right now, but hopefully not for long. So again, going to carefully draw around the highlight on the nose here. I'm gonna bring in this light kind of greenish color because I really like purple and pink and green. I think it's a really lovely combination. And I feel like I'm seeing some green in the photo reference. So we're gonna work with that. Maybe this blue we used earlier for those eyes. Definitely uh, make sure to leave the highlight, the white of the eye there. Okay, maybe the highlighter wasn't the best choice with this one just because it cuts through so strongly. And I kind of want to keep the light colors light in this piece. So we'll see how that looks in the end. I think I'm gonna bring in that blue that I used for the eyes and and go in to the flower here. And maybe on this side as well. I think I'm gonna go in with a pen now to bring out the drawing. Maybe, maybe we try something a little bit different and go in with this turquoise Stabilo uh, felt tip pen here. Might look a little bit odd, but let's just go for it. I want this one to have like a very alien-y look. I'm not sure how that one is working out, to be honest. Might uh, be regretting that, but <laughs> I shall Push on. Okay, it's starting to kind of come together. I mean, it certainly looks alien, <laughs> right? So I feel like I am delivering what I promised. I think I will actually go ahead and add more flowers because I, I do like the look of that.
Okay, I like the look of that. Maybe throw in a shadow underneath the flowers. So it looks like they're sitting on top. Keep this one ultra simple like this. Yeah, so far, honestly, I'm pretty happy with these markers. I mean, I know this is not like a oh hoo hoo review video, but so far, I mean, no complaints. Again, I don't have a ton of experience using markers in general, so I don't have like a frame of reference really, but so far, pretty good. Yeah, I really like how that's looking actually. Let's go in and uh, fill in this whole thing with this color. Maybe it's a little bit dark. Too late now. There we go. Maybe Maybe we gradate up to a, a lighter color up ahead. <laughs> up ahead, up on the head. For a little bit of like variety, a little bit of movement. Is this lighter? No, it's not. Is this lighter? I would not say that it's lighter. Yeah, the trick is to find a color lighter than that. I am not sure that I will. So you know what, I'm just gonna carry on with this and maybe I darken the area below instead Ugh. so all these pinks are not pinks they're like they're like highlighter colors Ooh, this one's rather radioactive I feel like I may want to call this one done even though it's still pretty rough. I think we kind of get the gist of this one. I'm getting confused with all the markers on the table. I don't remember which is which. So I'm just kind of grabbing at whatever and hoping for the best. You know what? Uh, I'm going to bring this brown stabilo pen in and just kind of try to finish it through the drawing <laughs> because I'm trying to do it in marker we might be in this for a while and uh, I think I want to not spend forever on it if possible I kind of like that um, two-tone effect with the, the line art. Um, should I fill in some of these lines here for the flowers? I kind of like how it's very undefined here so 
so maybe I'll just keep it like that. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not thrilled with this one as much. Maybe bring a little bit more of the cool colors. This one's all right. I feel pretty ready to move on to the next one. Yes. Fix it with the drawing. colors here and there. Ooh, this kind of neon -y pink might do it. Yeah, I think I will leave it at that. All right, there's this one. So I was walking in our last portrait of the page here. Um, and for some reason the recording just cut off and it disappeared off my phone. So I just kind of decided that maybe these two portraits are enough for today's video because it was almost two hours worth of footage that now I have to edit through. But yeah, I hope you got a lot out of watching me draw these two portraits here with the markers. Once again, thank you so much to my dear friend Tina aka I'm a Wonder for bringing over these markers for me to use. I really really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my Gumroad page for those Skillshare classes as well as other tutorial like content. And with all that said, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!